Hello everyone, uh, in this video this is going to be another update on hobo shoestring. I've been getting lots and lots of questions on my previous two videos. I'm actually overwhelmed with it uh, normally on my channel. I mean my channel is just a simple channel and I'm only getting maybe a hundred views on my videos. But with the previous two videos on the missing of hobo shoestring, I mean, it's obvious that the man is loved and cared for all around the world. Uh, the comments, the views, all of it, I, I've, I've, I've tried to respond to as many of them as I can and like as many of them as I can, but <clears throat> it's very, very overwhelming and I'm trying to keep up. This video here, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. I've been getting lots of questions about searching the lake behind his house. Uh, and I can answer that as of today, as of right now, no, the authorities have not searched the lake, which I find unbelievable. Uh, the man lives within a stone's throw of a lake. He is missing. He was disoriented, according to the reports. Uh, should have been the first thing that was done, in my personal opinion. I called, I called the TWRA yesterday and spoke to an officer. He put me through to dispatch, and uh, the dispatcher told me that, that that request would have to come through from law enforcement, fire department, or EMS uh, to get TWRA out there to launch boats to do a search. Uh, in this video, you guys are going to see I, I went myself and searched the lake shore behind the rocks that I could get to, talked to a few construction workers. Uh, at this point, hobo shoestring is still missing. And as, to my knowledge, there's been no credible sightings of him. Uh, I talked to his sisters and his mother there just a little bit yesterday when I recorded the video that you're about to see. Uh, the detect They are working with a detective in Johnson City. Uh, been getting lots of comments about his phones, <clears throat> his gear, everything, all of his phones, his gear, everything has been found at home to my knowledge. Uh, there's probably some things I can't talk about, I don't want to talk about, I don't want to step on nobody's toes, on his family's toes. Uh, however, his sister Mary has uh, indicated to me that she would like to do a video here on my channel to to clear up some things and just get the word out. It seems that the local media is not really, I don't know how to, how to word it, but they're, they're kind of labeling him as a transient, which kind of puts people in a, in a frame of mind that you know, he, he's just out somewhere being a transient, and we just don't think that's the case. We just think there's something else going on here. Uh, he was disoriented, according to the report, so we just don't know. But anyways, in this video, you'll see me searching some of the lake shore and talking to some construction workers that's there in the area. So everybody, I'm going to include a hashtag shoestring hashtag shoestring strong i don't know how that works on hashtags i'm just going to put it on there so maybe if you have anything just hashtag shoestring strong all right everybody this is going to be another follow-up on the hobo shoestring situation that we've got going on here i'm currently here at his residence which is right there behind me I'm going to go back down here and walk the lake shore. I was here just a couple of days ago, but I'm, I'm coming back. I brought a flashlight with me. There is some areas down here along the lake shore. It's got some big rocks and things like that uh, with some holes in behind them. So I brought my flashlight back to try to give those a good look. I've also brought my drone with me if the weather holds out, if the wind dies down here just a little bit and it don't rain on me. I'm going to try to launch that. We'll switch the camera around right here and I'll show you the lake. There's a dock right down there that he's made a few videos on. Um, I called the TWRA this morning, which is the Tennessee 
Wildlife Resources Agency and spoke to an officer and, and he put me in touch with this dispatch and I asked him about launching a boat and doing a water search and some of the shoreline down through there that I can't get to and they informed me that that would have to come the the request for that would have to come through the authorities here either the Johnson City Police Department uh, local fire department or local EMS would have to make that call to them before they would be able to do that I spoke with uh, Mary this morning which is shoestring sister and she said the detective was supposed to be contacting her sometime today and she was going to request that that be done that the TWRA gets out here and the water levels came up quite a bit since I was here just a couple of days ago actually it is that time of year for them to start filling the lake back up so everybody just bear with me and I'll I'm going to do some searching right here and I'll be back with you Right, I've made my way down here to the water line. Uh, drop something here, hang on a second. So again, I mean you can see I searched all those bushes right there the other day. rocks right here that I can get to. And while I was here the other day, it, had, it did rain overnight last night here, but when I was just here a couple of days ago, I was kind of looking, scanning the ground for footprints, and I didn't see any, but anyways. I'm going to lay my stuff down right here and start looking. Right over there is that point in some of his videos. In one, one or two of his previous videos, he was on his raft just right over there. So we're going to keep looking here. All right, guys, we've got this whole shoreline down through here. It's like this. I've searched a mile. I'm going up to this point. I searched a mile. I'm going to go down through here as far as I can. Keep looking. All right, everybody, I'm standing on the dock here where he'd made his previous videos up underneath it here. Again, over there's that point that he went out on on his on his raft. I covered all that shoreline up through there. Looked behind the rocks and the holes, up in the tree line as far as I could see. Didn't see any signs. 
Uh, no footprints, but of course it rained pretty heavy here last night and I was here just a couple of days ago right there in that same area and, and it had already washed my footprints away from a couple of days ago. And then down this way, you can see the water line. It's pretty rocky down through there. I'm gonna go try it, but I don't know how, how much I can get. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated. When I get done looking here, I'm gonna go up and speak with his sisters, Mary and Jessica, and also his mother. Everybody, please keep looking for him. Keep your eyes open. Keep looking. Okay, I was able to gain access, which I didn't think I could, but turns out I can actually get up here on the top and walk pretty good. Back down here in this direction. Got some men doing construction right there. We're going to stop and talk to them. I'm sure they've been working out here for the last week or so. It looks like building decks. So surely they would have been out here during the daylight hours. Hello, gentlemen. Doing well. All right, everybody. I've talked to the construction crew here. Uh, they've been here all for a couple of weeks now. Uh, and all these guys reported to me that they haven't seen anything, seen no signs of him. I was going to try to launch my drone, but we've got some pretty good wind gusts and, and it's over top of water. They don't do very well and in strong winds, it'll carry it off and be gone. So I'll try to come back on a less windy day on, a, on better weather conditions. I, mean, I know time is of the essence, but uh, not really much I can do with, with, with the weather and the wind. So just everybody keep praying for Hobo Shoestring. Please keep looking for him. And let's, let's all hope for a good outcome in this. And shoestring we are thinking about you we do love you you got thousands of people concerned about you man so everybody just please keep looking